So what is he gathering? The word the Lord spoke was that God is gathering his people unto him in these last days. All the people were scattered in different parts of the world. Just like the Israelites. When they went away from God, they were scattered into all the four corners of the world. And then the Lord said, I will gather you back again from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, and make you dwell in his holy land. So they were all gathered together in one place. Similarly, the people of God, God is gathering them. So, so does that mean God's people are scattered? No. So what does it mean? Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 1. And let us read verse 10. This is a mystery which was revealed to the Apostle Paul, which he said is going to happen as we progress from the first century church till the end times. It's a progression that will take place and will culminate in the last days. Which means in these last days in which we are living, we are going to see the totality of the fulfillment of this scripture. Ephesians chapter 1 and the verse 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of the times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him. Now look at the first part of the scripture. It says, in the dispensation of the fullness of the times. It does not say, in the fullness of the time. So you want to note why a pruler word is used there. Times. So it's not just one time period. It's going to be a progression of several time periods. So among the many time periods, each season, God does something new. And at each season, one layer of his revelation, of the fullness of his revelation is peeled. So when one layer is peeled, one season of time ends. And then another layer, another season, another layer, another season. So that's why the scripture says times. So when layer after layer after layer are being peeled, there will come a time when there will be no more any layers to peel. When that happens, we reach the fullness of the times. And in that fullness, there's something God is going to do. He's going to gather together in one all things. Now again, look at the word there. Things. What things? The things that are in heaven and the things that are on the earth. He's going to gather them all into one so that there will be one family. Why? Because in the fullness of the times, you need two forces to work together to finish everything. If you read Hebrews chapter 11 and the verse 40, the scripture says, And they without us are not complete. And chapter 12 verse 1 says, We are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. So therefore, we should put away all the weights that easily pull us down. That we should run our race unhindered, unstopped, freely, smoothly, and fast. 
So no weight should pull you back. Why no weight should pull you back? That time of weights pulling you down. When God had put up with our weaknesses. He has put up with us. Now the time is coming in the fullness. You must cut away every weight, every besetting sins, every weaknesses in our lives. Cut them away. Why? Because the cloud of witnesses are now joining hands with you to run the race.